Hello everyone, uh, I'm Shashi working with Bumni team in ThoughtWorks. So welcome to the first video in the series of videos we will be posting about the form builder app. This module will be available from release 9.0. Uh, in this, uh, so I'll just uh, get uh, show, show the agenda for the next three videos what we'll be covering. Uh, so in the first video we'll be covering about the introduction of what and why uh, about the form builder, creating a simple form like vitals with few controls saving as uh, it as a draft and publishing it uh, and also discussing about the versions of the forms uh, we'll also show about the published forms on the bumni uh, clinical observations tab uh, and also we will show uh, and we'll create another form which will uh, talk about describe different type of controls that we support in form builder uh, and in the second video second part of the video, uh, second video will cover uh, form builder internationalization, uh, form import and export, and integration with uh, different uh, other places like registration second page, which is visit details page, and Bumni Connect. Uh, and coming to the last video where we will be covering about the form conditions supported in the uh, form builder, we will just write JavaScript functions to uh, enable disable controls or show hide controls and setting the values to a particular control. Yeah, so let's get back to the <coughs> first first part what and why of form builder uh, so form builder is part of an implementer interface app basically if you see uh, the home home dashboard of a bummy when you log in with uh, superman or any other user so implementer interface app will be visible to all the users who has access to a role implementer interface app uh, and so implementer interface app uh, is basically was tried was built to uh, ease the implementation process for the implementers by form builder is one of the app where users uh, can drag and drop just controls by creating forms easily uh, it also is more like a replacement for designing forms using json configuration so uh, if you see if i once go to the form builder app you will see a dashboard where uh, where the previous versions previous forms are created it will show all the forms which were created using this app uh, so let's start with the basic creation of a sim simple app. Uh, if you see, there's a create a form button. Uh, once I click, let me name it Vitals Demo uh, for the demo purpose. Uh, create form. As you see, this is this. Uh, it'll take you to a page where you can drag and drop controls to this interface. Uh, so there are different type of controls. I would like to describe about in a sentence or two. So label is basically a uh, static text displayed on the form and ops, co ops control is a control which is uh, used to capture a value of a concept. It can be of any data type based on data type, concepts data type, the uh, based on concepts data type, uh, the it, it renders different types of controls. Ops group is, is a control which, uh, which, is, which uses, which is used to capture the values of a concept set and section is used to uh, used for visual grouping uh, of a concept or a concept sets. So let's start with uh, I'll drag and drop an ops. Uh, and before see uh, as, as I click it, you you'll see a uh, text box uh, auto complete box where you have to select for a concept from it. So all these concepts needs to be defined in OpenMRS uh, previously. So let's say uh, something like pulse. If I had to add. I just add pulse, and you see a base as the pulse data type is uh, numeric. It has rendered in text the numeric field, and it, it has a high low value and its units. Uh, as you see, uh, control properties. Each control has a unique ID within the form, and there are different kind of properties you can assign to a form. Let's say mandatory you want to assign, uh, or you want to capture some notes, or as it's a is you want to capture the abnormal feature about a particular ops here and let's say I want to add temperature as well yeah so tem as temperature is also a numeric data type it has rendered this uh, let me add a different a concept of different data type smoking history so as you see smoking history is of data type boolean you have two different fields yes or no and the concept description whichever is specified in openmrs so it, it comes here uh, as a feature and then uh, 
let me uh, let me capture some notes. Examination notes. So you can capture more notes. Uh, let me drag and drop a section. Section is more like a visual grouping. I just drag and drop a section onto the interface. I can rename a section name. So let me name it as blood pressure and then I can drag and drop an ops or an ops group within the again so let me select systolic and I want to capture abnormal feature for it and for the smoking history I want to capture notes uh, and then let me add one more diastolic and you also want to capture how the poster what is the poster of a patient so a poster is is a coded concept it has answers of sitting and supine so so it, it renders as a button select which is by default you can change the uh, view to the view of uh, how this the answers can be rendered you can render it as an autocomplete or else you can render it as a drop down uh, by default it, the, the the default one is a button select you can uh, uh, capture notes ma make it mandatory you can even have an add more to it so the different kind of properties based on concepts data type you you will show up here and you can select over those so now let us save the first version of it as you see once if i click on save uh, if you see the version one it's in draft state so you can edit the form as many times as you want before it is published but once it is published, if you are editing a form, it will render, it will capture it as a newer version of the form. Let's say, let's come back to this. If you see Vitals demo, which I just created, it's in draft state. And if you see an edit icon here. So mm, let me add, let, once I publish it, uh, this form will be visible on the Bumni, Bumni app on the clinical uh, observations page. So once I publish it, you will no longer be able to edit at the same version of the form. If you are trying to edit, add more controls or delete any few controls from this form, you need to edit it and publish it as a newer version of form again. So let, for the, uh, to explain the uh, versions part, I'm just editing it currently. Uh, if you see, it's still in version one draft. If I save, this becomes version two of draft, but this has not been published. So going back to the dashboard, if you see, there will be two vitals demo. Uh, one with uh, the version which is published where I can view the form download the form and change the translations which will be talk which will be talking about in the next series of videos and the version 2 of the form will be draft state yeah so now mm, going back to the Bumni app yeah so I've just created a test station to uh, capture some observations for that for in the form which we have created so going to the clinical dashboard consultation page, uh, you will see a series of forms which are used to see it earlier as well in the previous versions where you used to create the forms using concepts at UI through OpenMRS, which were the forms 1.0. We'll also be referring the forms created using form builder as forms 2.0. So if you see there is a vitals demo uh, the form which, you, which we created using form builder. So all the forms created using form builder as well as the older versions of forms, uh, older forms created using concept set UI will be merged and shown here. So let's click on the vitals demo, which the form which we created using form builder. Yeah, as you see, <coughs> uh, I've created the form pulse. I've added different type of controls. So based on the data types, it has rendered a form exactly however we want. So, uh, so there are different kind of properties which kick in like mandatory if I, let's say I just fill this and I, I did not fill this so it gets red saying that you need to fill the form. So let's say let's just to show the abnormal property if it's not in the range of the given one, it will it abnormal get selected. Let's say if you see like this or it's like a 72 which is exactly normal and smoking history is yes if I want to capture some additional notes to it. Let's say to That's per week. Notes, some extra notes. And the description still shows up, however, it is shown to the concept. And if you see, uh, same abnormal kicks in. 
baby and yeah so i can sell like this i just save it as part of the form yeah so if you see this has been captured the, web, the uh, observations have been captured and will be shown in the dashboard if you have configured a display control for it so yeah so this is just a form which we wanted to sample uh, demo using a simple form uh, with uh, with a general display con uh, generic data types uh, we'll also create a form with uh, different data types and different uh, support of whatever we do it in form builder uh, yeah so let's go back to implement interface app so let us create one new form just to demonstrate different type of controls and features supported in form builder uh, let's name it demo purpose for now so as you've seen the option section in the previous form which we have created so let's now i drag and drop an ops group ops group is basically it filters only the concept sets let's say if i have to diagnose uh, details yeah so if you see this yeah so i have drag and drop an ops group and selected a concept set so whichever are the all the set members which are there they show up they are rendered automatically as you see hypertension last visit date has a date to be captured you can capture some notes you can capture this uh, diagnosis status if you see no previous diagnosis come from elsewhere so i can even make it multi-select or else a drop down let's make it a drop down this time uh, and also uh, let me drag and drop another ops uh, let me select comorbidity just to, just to show you different type of controls we show so let's make it multi-select uh, and let me drag and drop a video so it all we also support uh, whatever existing data types which we supported in the older version of forms is still supported in the uh, in form builder forms as well so let me uh, patient video is a uh, is a concept defined in OpenMRS of uh, data type complex and a handler of video handler. So if you see, this shows up like this. And you can you can even add an you can even uh, capture an image as well. So yeah. so if you see, image also shows up like this. So you can add more and more controls to the uh, form, and this will be shown on the Bumble website. Uh, so that's it from the first video. We'll uh, discuss about the form internationalization and import exporting in X series of videos. That's it. Thank you.